Okay. Hi guys. I'm with. Oh, I should make sure you're straight here. There we go. There we go. Now you're even. Can you see me? So I am doing another rustic road, of course. I believe I'm on rustic road 65 here in Mequon, but there's like no sign for it. So I'm gonna do the route because it's only like a two mile route and it's gravel. Um, or at least that's what it says on the Department of Transportation website. So I'm gonna see at the end of this route to see if there's a sign there to take the picture because right now I've got nothing except for just a rustic road sign, which doesn't do me any good. So let's just get on on the road after this speedy delivery guy goes by. And let's see where we go. Ooh. So I don't know if this is all gravel. Maybe I'm on the wrong Hawthorne Road? I, I don't know. Doesn't look like it anymore. But could be wrong. Could be right. Who knows? Ugh. So this makes a... Uh, God, I lost track already. Oh, nope, we are right. This is gravel. I think this is the 16th or 17th road. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty house. I like it. Oh yeah, totally gravel. All right, I'm gonna lift up my visor just cause I'm gonna fog up. It's an old log cabin. It's pretty freaking sweet. The horses live in there. That's awesome. All right, so I totally am on the right road. <laughs> Couldn't tell when you first started out, but man, there's a lot of houses in this area too. Interesting. All right, not doing too bad on the gravel road. Any of you other ones traveled on these? types of roads that don't have a dual sport <laughs> I've gotten better but part of me in the like in the back of my head is thinking uh, maybe I should get a dual sport I'm sure my husband would love to add another bike to the garage for our collection we've got this bike my sportster 883 we've got a custom fat boy uh, 2002 yes 2002 but I think to have a dual sport or even just a dirt bike to do some of these rides would be super cool and there as I'm doing my research about all of the other like roads and trails that are available in Wisconsin there is this I think it's called the Wisconsin Adventure Trail I'm not entirely sure don't quote me on it but it's like 600 miles from like the south part southwestern part of wisconsin it goes all the way up to um like the tip top of wisconsin by superior and i want to do it so bad but i don't have a bike that would be capable of doing it right now and so either i'd have to rent it or find somebody make friends with them anybody's out there that knows somebody in Wisconsin that would be willing to help me out I so want to do do that adventure trail Ugh. but this gets me prepped and ready for it right <laughs> I don't know it's not too bad like yes it's gravel but there's still some really hard dirt underneath it where it doesn't feel as loose like they just put the fresh new gravel on, so that's nice. There's so many houses like tucked away in this on this street, which is crazy. So it's a lot more populated than I thought it would going to be, but it's still pretty super cool. And I'm hoping that there is the rustic road sign at the end of this route because 
I need to take that picture. Like if you've seen any of my other Rustic Road videos before, I am trying to earn my certificate, which is 25, riding 25 Rustic Roads. And I've already earned my patch last year, which was riding 10. I have a personal goal of riding all 120 of them eventually. I don't think I'm gonna do it all this year, like I keep saying, but who knows? Maybe I'll surprise myself and have enough time to really go through them all. But I think it's good to space it out for a couple years so at least gives me something to do and stay close to home or I don't have the option to really go on a long-term, long-distance ride. I do want to do some of them eventually too. I want to do the 1K in a day. I want to do the Iron Butt ride probably around Lake Michigan, but we shall see. And I believe this is the end, short, two mile, but I'm hoping that this is the Rustic Road sign. Right, so I'm gonna pull off here, right here. Yay! Okay. Put me in neutral, put you down, and let's get that picture. Okay, am I recording? Oh yeah, totally recording. Okay, all right, bike. I need to get out here. Ready? I'm gonna get you guys. Minus this lovely mailbox in here, but it'll do. All right, guys, that is it for this route. I am actually headed down to Milwaukee. I'm going to Milwaukee Harley-Davidson to try out one of the new live wires. So I've never ridden an electric bike before. And I will plug that video up here above my head when I have it complete, but I'm super excited. And I figured if I'm headed down there, I'm gonna try to get some of these rustic roads done as well. So yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna head out now. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Definitely was a rustic road for sure with the gravel, but still small, fun ride. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see you guys.